It's a hundred in the spot. I won't keep going. I'm a concierge. Cause you need it. Cause the lights are going. I'm for the moment. And I shoot like five hundred. I'm a speculator. Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and guys, in today's video, I'm just gonna be going over what I think the best mentor is, and guys, these, this is just, these are just my opinions, basically, so, if you guys have any, like, disagreements, go ahead and comment them down below, because I genuinely wanna know what you guys think about these mentors, which one you guys think is the best, or let me know if you guys agree with me, I mean, there's gonna be a ton of people that disagree with me, there, there always is in every single tier list video on YouTube, anything, just, there's always people that disagree with so if you disagree, let me know in the comments, so guys, before we get into the video, just make sure you do like sub with all notifications if you want more videos like this if you want more shindo content want me to help you out if you want to enter giveaways all that good stuff but guys let's just get straight into the video now all right guys let me just explain something real quick so there are only four mentors so it's not going to be a long video and another thing nothing will be under b tier the lowest thing the lowest mentor will be on b tier but now guys what is b tier b tier is ryuji Kenichi. Now, he mainly focuses on health and tie. His uh, Chi and Nin stats are 6k unchanged and 7k on tie and HP, which is 420k HP. Now, his perks are wider dash and stronger block, which are amazing abilities. So now, the third... Here, here, let me just give you guys a, a tier list for, like, passives real quick. So, fourth has to be Chi dash, in my... And remember, everything in this video is just my opinion. You could use it as a reference or, I don't know, just a guide. Up to you guys, but... Fourth, Chi Dash. Third, Wider Dash. Second, Stronger Block. And first, Passive slash Faster Chi Regen. But now, guys, the reason why I put on my B tier is because I don't really use Tai. I mean, if, you, if you're addicted to Tai, go ahead and use it. This will be amazing for you. But guys, I don't think Tai will be the meta forever. It might be, but I feel like it'll change. And once it changes, I'm going to be screwed if I still have Tai. But now, he does give a ton more stamina. I mean, that's an amazing perk, but... Then again, guys, it's all up to you guys. I don't know, man. I feel like Ryuji should definitely not be any higher than A tier. A tier at max, but I put him at B tier just because I don't really use time moves like every, in every single build. I may use like one time move, but it's not going to drain all my stamina. So he would be pretty useless to me. All right, guys, for A tier, I actually put Shindai Akuma just because he is balanced. Now, here are his stats, bro. 6,450 Chi, same for Nin, 6,300 Tai, 6,800 HP. Now, he has 408k HP. His passive perks are Water Dash and Chi Dash. But now, he does have the worst passive ability, which is Chi Dash, and that is the worst passive ability in my opinion. I don't know, man. He is balanced, though, so that's why I gotta give him uh, A tier. And he is adaptable to any PvP meta. So right now, the PvP meta is uh, Tai, as I mentioned before. I think I mentioned this before. So, guys, if Tai isn't the meta anymore, then he'll be able to adapt to what the meta is. I mean, unless every, unless none, nothing is the meta. But, I mean, he'll still be able to adapt because, I mean, he's balanced on all stats. So, I mean, he's the safest, but he's not the best, in my opinion. But now, guys, S tier, bro. S tier, I actually put Saishin and Narumaki. Now, I couldn't figure out which one is better, so you guys will have to decide. They're both amazing. They're honestly the best mentors, in my opinion. Now, Saishin, bro. Saishin actually gives 6,000 Chi, 6,500 Nin, 6,000 Tai, 7.5k HP, which is 450,000 HP. Now, she has the best passive perks in the game, which are stronger block and faster slash passive regen, or charging. And, guys, the reason why I say stronger block is the second best is, well, honestly, it could be the worst. We don't know how good the uh, block buff is, but, I mean, if it's really good, then it is, it's definitely the best one, or second best ability, and then the first one will be faster slash passive charging. But, I don't know. It has a ton of HP, it can tank, and it has two of the best passives. That automatically puts that S tier, in my opinion, but, guys, Narumaki... He is balanced in every area besides Tai. Tai he has 6,000, but he has 6.7k Nin, 6.6k Chi, and 6.7k HP, which is 402k HP. Now his perks are Chi Dash and pa Faster Slash Passive Charging. Now he has Chi Dash, which is the worst passive in my opinion. But still, bro, that doesn't stop him from being S tier just because he has the things that I'm looking for. He regens quickly when you're not even holding blocks. Same for Saishin, which is why I also put her on S tier, um, other than her giant uh, health bar bro it's just her health buff is crazy bro but i put him here just because he's like balanced and i don't really use ty that much so i mean the fact that ty is staying at 6k and everything else is staying at like is going up is amazing to me because guys i don't use ty very much like i mentioned before but i do use a lot of chi moves so i mean that is amazing for me and it gives a good amount of hp too and the uh perks or the passives are actually pretty nice to accept chi dash but i don't know man guys that was my opinion on what the best mentor is so Let's, the best mentor, in my opinion, is Narumaki, but 
Then again, I can't really choose. I don't know, bro. Saishin, it's it's pretty much tied with Narumaki, in my opinion. Guys, this is my opinion on the best mentor. Make sure you guys do like, sub, with all notifications. Let me know what you guys think is the best mentor in the comments, bro. See you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.